Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obito Potato. This is democracy for the free market continues to run amok. And things are only gonna get crazier over the course of this episode. So, thank you very much to everyone who left a comment on the uh, on the first episode. Uh, you know, I think I think we had a pretty decent first episode, actually. Like, uh, the intelligence briefing was mostly okay uh, throughout the entirety of the game. And nobody really hates us. We managed to, to win an election with a, I mean, a monstrous majority. So that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. However, I, there were a lot of people saying, Hey, Potato, why don't you try and cancel more policies? Why don't you just try and get rid of uh, as many taxes as possible? Why don't you try and just sort of slim down the legislation just a little bit in order to create a, a truly free market? And to that, I say, I like it. I like it. I think it's going to be very, very challenging, as there's not really much of a way to to sort of trim down on certain policies. Science funding, for example, we are always going to be funding science somehow, uh, whether it is to the tune of $38 billion or whether it's to the tune of $694 million. Obviously, you know, $694 million is uh, is a lot less. A lot less, uh, lot less cash to spend in 38 billion. The point that I'm trying to make, though, is that there are certain policies which do just exist. They will continue to be paid for, and we'll continue to have to pay for them, even if we we scale them right down to zero. So it's not going to be technically possible to create a a truly free market in that sense. But you know, I think that we can certainly give it a give it a crack, so to speak. Uh, right, 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 right. So. In order to fulfill this mission, in order to fulfill this mission, and of course keep capitalists appeased, which I think we're doing a pretty good job of actually. I I, I had an idea. I had an idea. Streamer offers birthday song decline. Only the youths. Only the youths dislike that one. Uh, we're gonna go straight to the next turn, mostly so that I can end that infernal looping music that plays after you win an election. Uh, but more importantly, because I'm after a little bit of political capital for something which is so nefarious and so unbelievable that you have to believe it to see it. You have to see it to believe it? Anyway, GDP is in a monstrously good position at this moment in time. Unemployment is... Wow, almost completely gone, which is wonderful. Crime is... Not that one. Crime is picking up again, actually. Crime is picking up a little bit. Why is that the case? Is that due to poverty? Poverty's a little bit high. Poverty's a little bit high. Alcohol tax. I am going to get rid of the alcohol tax. Don't worry. I know. I know. A lot of people complained about the fact that I increased the alcohol and tobacco tax, which, to be honest, are completely fair criticisms. Uh, given that, you know, we need to let the free market do its thang. Uh, but we will. We will. Anyway, what am I going to do this turn? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. We are going to get rid of state schools. That's right. Now, there's a couple of different there's a couple of different things to unpack here. First of all, state schools are really, really good for education. I don't want to say that they're propping up education, but they are literally like a foundational pillar of education in this country. Uh, state schools provide 34%. 34% uh, of uh, of education and far and away it is the it is the largest modifier. It's increasing at the moment, which is good, but you know, as soon as we get rid of that, we ain't going to have we ain't going to have an education boost. Uh, it's also doing a lot for poverty. Poverty is is way 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 down because of state schools. In fact, it's the biggest biggest negative modifier towards poverty, which is uh, which is quite important as well. Uh, also unemployment. Unemployment is quite low in part because uh, state schools employ so many people. Literally just the military that actually employs more people than state schools. Uh, memberships doesn't really matter. Capitalist opinion, you know, it matters, but it's also not, uh, it's not that huge. However, 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 what is important is that the, the, the private school sector is very suppressed at this moment in time. So the, the private school sector does not have much of an opportunity to showcase how much education it can bestow on our populations. Uh, and you know what? If ever there was a great time to... If ever there was a great time to uh, to cancel state schools, it would be now, when our GDP is just about as high as it can possibly be, therefore giving us the maximum number of people who are able to pay for private schools, and therefore, you know, making making my mind my mind firmly up that cancelling state schools is the right thing to do. Now, of course, of course, of course, of course. It's worth discussing before we cancel it. We could take it right down to zero, but of course that still means that we end up having to pay 16 billion. If I can cut a policy, I will endeavor to do that. That is my 
assurance to you. However, uh, there may be there may be some difficulties given the amount of political capital that we have. Anyway, state schools. Let's get rid of that. The state health service is that still kicking? I I can't remember. I think I canceled that actually. Yeah, the state health service, which the state health service could give us cash, but we got rid of that nonetheless. So we did get rid of uh, we did get rid of uh, the state health service. Military spending again. Military spending is another one, right? We are. We're gonna have military spending anyway, which is a bit of a pain in the backside. And also, military spending contributes to a couple of modifiers. Uh, for example, like the space industry, which gives us additional GGP, which makes capitalists happy, I guess. So is there a case to maybe keep a high level of military spending? Yeah, you know, there is, but also there's not, you know, it's, it's kind of neither here nor there, I guess, but... There you go. Anyway, that is gonna make that is gonna make capitalists very very happy with me. Let's allow allow the merger. Sure, excellent. Okay, and then we'll head uh, right on to the next term. I was told that it would be difficult to max out GDP. I don't feel like I've played particularly well. Um, no, no, sorry. I I, I don't feel like I've played particularly well. I've certainly. I certainly don't feel like we should be maxing out GDP already, especially after there was an update which was supposedly due to uh, normalize relative GDP. Okay, poverty, huge increase. Huge, monstrous increase. Unemployment, huge, monstrous increase. But GDP did increase. Uh, we do have an absolutely massive surplus now, and the global economy is just in a terrible place, which is fine. I guess. Also, I don't know why, but we haven't hit our AAA credit rating again, which is kind of weird. Uh, you'd expect that we would have hit that, given that we have a debt-to-GDP ratio of, uh, of 70%, or around about 70%, so yeah, a little bit surprising there, but, but no big deal. Anyway, threat assessment. Threat assessment is completely fine. Threat assessment is completely fine. Right, where else can we cut expenditure? State pensions are next. State pensions are definitely definitely next. We got to get rid of state pensions, but I can't do it with that much political capital. Uh, I need three more political capital in order to get it. So what other policies do we want to cancel? I guess I should just look through my expenditure, right? I mean, military spending, we can turn this right down, and I want to do that. I do want to do that, but yeah, again... Again, is that, is that a capitalist policy? I, I don't know. I don't know. It really, it doesn't feel like it. Uh, science funding, we have to fund technology grants. Again, you know, technology grants actually improves the economy in a direct way. It improves capitalist happiness, and it improves productivity. It's like, what more do you want? What more of a perfect policy could you really have? Uh, agriculture subsidies, we can definitely get rid of this. We can definitely get rid of agriculture subsidies. That's going to cost us 10 political capital. Ooh, the other one that we could easily get rid of is art subsidies. That's right. It's barely it's barely even a thing, uh, apparently. But we can get rid of this. we got circuses. Uh, we could scale it down to puppet shows. But, you know, we'll just cancel it. That's fine. And that leaves us with 17... 17 political capital. We'll get 19 political capital next turn. So that actually means that we come in under our cap, which is pretty perfect, because that means that we can cancel state pensions next turn, or should I say this turn, which is great. Hey, what do you know? My credit rating has been upgraded, which means that we are paying even less in debt interest than we were previously. We have maxed out our GDP without the assistance of the global economy. The global economy is you know, in a terrible place, and we are still doing brilliantly. I wonder, I wonder, has the game suddenly become so darned easy because of the... because of the quantitative easing and helicopter money policy? Is quantitative easing really just this good? I mean, that's a 10% increase to GDP right there, and the only downside is currency strength, which... eh... is fine. I know that currency strength supposedly was due to have a bigger impact than it did, but a high food price actually worked out quite well for me because it ended obesity. Uh, respiratory disease, that's not going anywhere. The water shortage, that might maybe be going somewhere if the climate change adaption fund comes online. But honestly, maybe we just get rid of the climate change adaption fund, frankly, because 
I mean, it costs an absolute arm and a leg, but there's pretty much nothing that we can do about it. Pollution, yeah, you know, pollution is going to continue. Is going to continue, absolutely. Just a bit of a pain in the backside, but hey-ho. A payroll tax, or maybe the payroll tax? Do we want to just get rid of the payroll tax? I mean, if we were to do this, if we were to do this, it would be good. But the problem is that GDP... GDP is actually already in a pretty decent place and you know we're not going to see any benefit from cancelling payroll tax we're just going to see 238 billion disappear you know but at the same time we do want to cut out sources of uh sources of spending we absolutely want to okay you know what let's get rid of let's get rid of let's get rid of the military we'll get rid of the military but we'll get rid of the military in one fell swoop next turn we need 22 political capital in order to do that let's, cla let's cancel the climate change adaption fund cancel the climate change adaption fund i know i i just i just introduced it last last episode but that's fine uh free school meals that seems like a policy that we should maybe get rid of if we if we are truly committed to this this idea of uh if we're truly committed to this idea of, you know, a true, true, true free market. It's funny though, right? It's, it's just, it's just so, it's just so interesting. It's just so interesting. I mean, what, what is a truly free market? I don't even, I don't even know. All right. Crime is on the up and up. Crime is on the up and up. I mean, are we supposed to, are we supposed to fund the police? If it's a free market, maybe we, we let private security contractors you know do do what they do instead of funding a central police force but then again there is no there is no metric for private security forces you know in in democracy so it's like do we do we fund the police force? i think we fund the police force i think we fund the police force but then again you never know okay we need to get poverty down and i have absolutely no idea how we get poverty down I'd say what we do, we cancel the alcohol tax in the first instance. Cancel the alcohol tax. That is a step in the right direction. I did say that I was going to cut the military, didn't I? I'm going to do that next turn. I should have done it this turn, but I I got complacent and I forgot. Uh, state housing. I'd say what, let's cancel state housing. Again, it's not. there's not really much point. Private housing is satisfying almost everything, but we'll get rid of it. We'll get rid of it nonetheless. Uh, disability benefit, we'll cancel that. Social care, we'll cancel social care. Everything in allow the airport expansion plans. Yep, this is this is excellent. This is excellent. Okay, so everything in the top right hand corner is going to get absolutely cancelled. Okay, share IPO success, which is good, but again, GDP increasing by eight percent really, frankly, makes no difference to me. Like it really just doesn't. It really doesn't. There are hardly any negative modifiers here. You'd think that there would be more, but there just there just ain't. Welfare fraud department? Uh, sure. I I will implement this policy. I will implement this policy. Implement it to the max. Yeah. I guess. I guess that's okay. Internet crime. Our technology is in such a great place that we're getting a lot of internet crime. But that's okay. All right. We've got a huge monstrous surplus, which is great. Very, very happy with that. What else can we cancel over here? Family planning. Cancel family planning. Excellent. Welfare fraud department. I just introduced that. Although I could cancel it. I could cancel it in this turn. Uh, genital mutilation ban. Again, I don't think this has any impact on free the free market, to be honest. But maybe we should just cancel it because it's a policy? I, I feel like we shouldn't. Social care, uh, you know what? Get rid of social care. Social care definitely upsets capitalists, and therefore we can get rid of it. Okay, I have a funny feeling that this country is uh, is going to be... It's going to be in a pretty poor state in a couple of turns. But you never know. If we could cancel every welfare policy that we have, that would be... That would be a step in the right direction for sure. That would be a step in the right direction for sure. Uh, free school meals. Get rid of free school meals as well. Sure. Go for it. Yeah, there were a lot of suggestions actually in the comments that perhaps after 
Oh boy. Okay, so there's a rare earth crisis, which is just completely taken off due to... Actually, due to the year and the fact that we have a really, really high level of technology. Uh, it's going to torpedo, to a degree, our technological advantage, but we can still stay ahead of the curve, so I'm, I'm okay with that. You are upset with me. That's fine. Unemployment is up. Honestly, that's not surprising at all. Crime is up, and also poverty is up. The, the thing is that we can't actually reduce unemployment anymore through GDP. That's the thing, right? Um, it's, it's just not possible. It's just not possible, and... We're gonna be, we're gonna be, we're gonna be increasing uh, unemployment a lot as soon as we pare back our military. Uh, there's a real estate bubble that is developing because there is a high percentage of capitalists apparently and GDP is so darned high. Our population is holding steady, but you know, slowly but surely increasing due to, due to immigration. The death penalty has got a negative effect on population. Okay, I don't know, fine. Lifespan? I mean, can we maybe just shorten everyone's lifespan and fix the real estate bubble? Honestly, you say that, but... It might be, it might be a strategy. It might be a strategy. A serious, genuine strategy. Okay, welfare policies. The welfare fraud department... Uh, yeah, whatever. Just get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. The other thing that we need to consider is that if we want to play for longer, which I think that we do, we're going to need to spend 35 political capital on increasing either the executive term length or, 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 or the executive term limit. So 34 political capital is needed, which is quite a lot of political capital, quite a lot of political capital. We're at risk of developing an uncompetitive economy. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Oh no, you're actually being serious, video game. Okay, well that's terrible. Can I get rid of corporation tax, maybe? I, I feel like I should get rid of corporation tax. Like, that would be good. We have a surplus of 431 billion. I mean, that's a lot of billions, to be honest. That's a lot of billions. Tenancy rights? Uh, keep current rights. I think that's, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, so what does internet crime do? Internet crime increases crime. Everyone hates us a little bit. GDP is down. GDP is still maxed out, which is which is kind of nice. Very, very nice, in fact. How much political capital would it cost for me to cancel corporation tax? 14 political capital? It only brings in 80 billion. I mean, that's pocket change, right? That is pocket change. Is this going to give me 34 political capital next turn? I don't think it is. By my... Terrible mathematics. I don't think 18 plus 15 equals more than 36. I really do need to shuffle you out, and I need to shuffle you out as well. Trade unionist and youth. Nobody hates me, though. Like, nothing is red. Nothing is red down the left-hand side of the screen here. Okay, cancel the tobacco tax. Maybe that's going to be a way that we can reduce poverty just a little bit. But it is, gonna, of course, going to uh, increase alcohol and tobacco consumption. Which, yeah, it's not, not exactly ideal. But there we go. Okay, capitalists should freaking love me right now. They do kind of freaking love me, to be honest. They do, they do freaking love me. They like me a lot. I am their favorite. Okay, a big flash crash. GDP sinks by 30%. Currency strength decreases. Actually decreases food price, I think. So that's, so that's not terrible. Uh, poverty should start to come down now. Should start to come down, which is great. Crime is on the up and up, thanks to internet crime. And uh, crime increasing has got a negative effect on GDP. Private prisons. Private prisons. Can I do something about it? Can I do something about private prisons? I feel like I should increase private prisons, right? I think that's a good call. I think that's a good call. It's going to reduce crime a little bit. It's going to make capitalists very, very happy. It's going to cost us eight political capital. I need to make sure that I don't get ahead of myself here. 18... 
I can spend six political capital. I can spend six political capital this turn. Technically seven. I can spend seven political capital this turn. In order to do the executive term limit change next turn. Which I need to do. Which is a bit of a pain in the backside, but whatever. Uh, so I can spend... I can spend seven this turn. Maybe I just get rid of the payroll tax? Sure. I'll get rid of the payroll tax. Get rid of the payroll tax. That keeps us in the game. Give me another three cost political capital policy to change or get rid of. Charity tax relief? Capitalists like charity tax relief though. Again, is this free market? I don't think that this is free market. But I guess it kind of is. Okay, you know what? Let's do that. So that gives us 18. 18 plus 18 is 36, which is brilliant. Let's spend this turn's political capital on uh, on sorting out the term stuff. Okay, how's health looking? Health is decreasing ever so slightly. Private healthcare is keeping the health of the nation topped up nicely, but can't do altogether too much. How's education doing? Education is falling, but private schooling... Private schooling is pretty much maxed out. Okay, that's very, very interesting. Very, very, very interesting indeed. The prison regime. Right. The prison regime can actually increase education. I think I might actually do this. A harsh... Prison regime costs zero dollars. Well, I can't say no to that, can I? I can't say no to that. But I can say no on this turn anyway. A real estate bubble is likely to develop. I really, really hope that it doesn't. But I'm almost certain that it is. Almost certain that it is. I don't think that we've got many tools at our disposal to decrease the population size, though. Other than purposefully destroying health, which might be a strategy... Uh, I don't know if there's anything else that we can really do. Unemployment way down, but that was because of the flash crash. Uh, GDP is pretty much back to normal, which is which is really, really nice. Okay, executive term limit needs to be bumped up to three. Let's get that locked in. 34 political capital. It sucks that we're doing it, but you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. Honestly, I would love to, to have a nation of, uh, of vegans. That would be brilliant. It's much, 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 much easier to deal with vegans as opposed to as opposed to meat eaters. I say that not to sound controversial, but you know, because within the context of this game, it is strictly true. Uh, right, okay, so health is back up, which is great. Education is starting to trend upwards, probably because of my, I was going to say prison regime change, but I didn't actually change that, did I? And unemployment is back down. How is the country not falling to pieces? That's what I want to know. How is the country not falling to pieces? Our debt has decreased fairly substantially. Fairly substantially. And it would continue to fall fairly substantially if I hadn't uh, cancelled the payroll tax. I don't know if we can cut 500 billion of expenditure. I mean, we've got the military here. But we need 22 political capital in order to change the military spending. What else can we cut? Foreign investor tax breaks? Is this a free market thing? I don't know. I don't know. Science funding. I mean, I feel like this is pretty much... This is pretty much, like, what we can do. Sure, maybe you could make the argument that the space program, clean energy subsidies, they can go. They can absolutely go. This was my one concession in the first episode. My one concession was the... Uh, was the subsidies, was the subsidies for clean energy. But we're gonna get rid of that now. I mean, look, we just need to be open about the fact that the environment is always gonna be trash. It's always just gonna be in a state of absolute ruination. Absolute ruination. There is nothing that we can do about it. Health food subsidies. I mean, anything with the word subsidies in it needs to go, right? All of these taxes need to go. Foreign investor tax breaks. If taxes have to go, I guess it makes sense that tax breaks have to go. Because you can't have tax breaks without taxes, right? It sounds stupid to say. 
But if we don't have any taxes... Whoops. If we don't have any taxes, then uh, there's going to be no tax breaks to go around, right? Credit rating upgraded. Well, hey, wonderful. It's great news. Scientific breakthrough. Electric car transition plus 25%. Okay, that's nice. Our CO2 emissions are approaching zero, actually, which is, which is good. Very, very happy with that. Uh, we've got an absolutely monstrous surplus. Health is down. Education is up. How is this working? How is this working? How is this working? Okay, foreign investor tax breaks. Let's get rid of those. Get rid of those. Capital gains tax. Let's get rid of capital gains tax. Cool. Barely brings in anything anyway. Car tax. Let's get rid of the car tax. All right, we have just been trimming, 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 trimming all of our policies. Disguised employment law. Leave current regulations alone. Good. We want the gig economy to continue. Because as far as I'm concerned, that's actually a good thing for us. Right? Reduces members of the motorist group. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Real estate bubble. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I would love it if a real estate bubble didn't end up coming into play. But if it does, if it does, it does. That is what it is. Okay. Unemployment benefit. Let's get rid of this as well. This is costing us cash. So, of course, it's something that we want to cut. I still need to bring down the size of the military. I, uh, I keep... I keep forgetting to do that. I keep forgetting to do that. And there is, like, a hundred billion in there. Uh, okay. You, we, we had a transport minister resign. To be fair, that's probably okay. Bring you on board. Look, you're a capitalist. You're, you're probably... You're probably a fan of mine. You probably like what I'm doing. We've got three turns in order to absolutely slash poverty, by the way. And yet we are in a state of... A state of chaos when it comes to poverty. Health tax credits. Capitalists like tax credits. But... But... Is that really the free market? Capitalist, 100%, 100, almost 100% uh, membership, which is really, really good. We have managed to squeeze out all of the socialists in our society, which is wonderful, actually. It's very, very good. Okay, food stamps. We need 19 political capital to cancel. I guess, I get, I get, again, doesn't really impact the free market. Doesn't really impact the free market even slightly. Agriculture subsidies, we can definitely get rid of agriculture subsidies. Get rid of agriculture subsidies, call it a day there. That's that's pretty good, right? Work safety law? Sure. We don't have any work safety anymore. No work safety. Business startup campaign? I feel like we shouldn't be giving help to businesses if we're truly going for a for a free market approach. Honestly, all of the comments made me seriously reevaluate you know, what a, what a proper, a proper free market would actually look like. And to be, to be brutally honest, I mean, I don't, I don't think, I don't think I, I even know. I, uh, I don't think, I don't think I even know. And I don't think anyone really knows. Does anyone really know? I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Okay. Technological advantage and GDP both up. Very, very nice. Demand from one of our donor, uh, donors, Brittany Turner. Illuminati. We don't have... We don't have anything. Okay, import tariffs. I'm afraid import tariffs, even though capitalists like them, that's that's a big it's a big no no. It's a big it's a big no no. You didn't have a picture to begin with, Brittany Turner, so you're actually okay. You want art subsidies? You seriously want me to implement art subsidies? Do you even know what I stand for? No, neither do I. Neither do I, frankly. But whatever. Um. Yeah. So. We're going to have to make a decision about... What the... Okay, so wait, you're telling me that to decommission existing nuclear... Nuclear power plants costs me zero millions? That's nonsense. Okay, so if I give generous subsidies to nuclear power plants, right? It would cost me 14 billion a turn. At the moment, to decommission a nuclear power plant 
at the end of life. This only costs me 23 million a quarter? I, okay, let me be brutally honest here, folks. I have never in my entire or gosh darned life decommissioned a nuclear power plant. Would it cost more than $100 million a year? Yes, probably would, given that, you know, we're not talking about just one nuclear power plant here. We're talking about, I don't know, potentially tens of tens of nuclear power plants, maybe hundreds of nuclear power plants across any given country. Decommission existing costs zero. That's just ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. That's just insane. That's 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 not even that's not even reflective of reality there, I don't think. That is that is that is whack, as they say. Okay, uh game hunting restrictions. Let's get rid of game hunting restrictions. Look, I mean the mar if the market is free, then so are the animals in the countryside, right? That makes sense. Water cannons. I, again, that's got nothing really to do with the free market at all. Uh, I still just need more. I still just need more political capital to fix this flipping military nonsense. I'm just going to absolutely cut the military. Right. Ministerial resignation. Honestly, thank goodness you were kind of you were kind of getting. You were kind of getting on my nerves there. Farmers and capitalists. Congratulations. Welcome to the job. Anyone who's a capitalist is a friend of mine. Right. Health is continuing to fall. Is that shocking? No, not really. Not not even slightly. Holy cow, my popularity. Where did my popularity go? Uh... What? the heck happened? What happened, please? Is this a bug? Capitalists... Okay, you're telling me that capitalists represent... Oh. It's not a bug, but it's... Well. So, okay, here's the thing, right? Our country was doing so well... Our country was doing so well that immigration went through the freaking roof. And now... And now 98% of our population are ethnic minorities. Wowzers. And the problem is... The problem is... Is that as a group... Not a big fan. Even though, technically, we have 90%, 91% of the population that are capitalists, uh, people, people are just not a, not a fan. Not a fan at all of, of me. Wowzers. Well, this is a problem, and the fact that it happened over the course of three turns, from 99% popularity, all the way down. What did I do? What did I do? We have a lot of capitalists here. That's, that's good stuff. What what did I cancel? What did I cancel a couple of turns ago? I this is a disaster. Did I fail a pledge? I don't think I failed a pledge. Raise private prisons. Okay, we'll do that. We will raise private prisons. Cut income tax. Yeah, we'll cut income tax. Poverty? That ain't that ain't going nowhere, I'm afraid. That ain't going nowhere. I can make a pledge to, to cut income tax again? I... I'm very confused. I, I don't know I don't know what happened here. I don't I don't know what happened here. The movement for just uh, uh, There is a little bit of a threat. There's a little bit of a threat, but I mean what is this? What is this? <laughs> From like 60% popularity to 20% popularity, 11% popularity. What the heck happened? Quantum computing, foreign investor tax breaks, capital gains tax, not done anything crazy, work safety law, 
Education. Haven't done anything in education for a while. Unemployment. Agriculture subsidies. I got rid of agriculture subsidies. How many farmers do we have? We got hardly any farmers. 10% of the population are farmers. That's it. What have I done to upset people so greatly? I, I really am very, very confused. And I have no idea what I've done. I, I really, I really, really don't know. Is that even going to fix things? I don't think it will. I, I, I would love to know why I am so unpopular. Original income, disposable income. Disposable income is minus $24,000. How did that happen? That doesn't seem... Doesn't seem like you can have negative disposable income, to be honest. At least, I don't think you should be able to have negative disposable income. What the heck is happening? Disposable ink. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm really trying to get to the bottom of this. Like, what the heck has happened here? Middle income peeps don't don't love me. No, I appreciate that. I, I get it. Motorists don't love me. Environmentalists don't love me either. But I mean, like, what the heck happens? What the heck happens? Like, even, even ethnic minority happiness is, has remained pretty consistent. Everyone's happiness as a whole has remained pretty consistent. Where did... Where did my popularity go? Where did my popularity go? Where did it go? Is it because of the flash crash? But there wasn't a flash crash for a couple of turns. What the heck? I... Genuinely, game hunting restrictions. Was it a. Was it a cut? I'm so confused. I am so, so unbelievably confused right now. I haven't even adjusted the military spending yet. I mean. Okay. We don't have the political capital to do anything. Maybe I can change my... No, can't change my perception at all. I guess we just have to go into the election and we have to... Hope? How did I drop from 99% popularity to 11% over the course of three turns? And how am I still gonna win? <laughs> what is going on? What the heck is going on? What is happening? What is going on? I, 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 I don't understand. Okay, let me have a little look at my popularity. What is that? What is that graph? What is that graph? <laughs> what is that graph? <laughs> Have you ever seen a comeback of that nature? From 11 point something percent to 76 percent. What the heck? I... My brain cannot take it. My brain cannot understand. It cannot fathom what is actually happening. I... I'm in a state of shock and dismay and confusion and confusion and confusion. All right, now that I've destroyed the destroyed the country, uh, yeah, the vast majority, vast majority of our income is coming from borrowing. Do I have the ability to get rid of the military? Not on this turn. Not on this turn. I'm afraid. Small business grants, we can cancel that policy. Yep, we'll get rid of that. Cancel this. Cancel this. I'm just going to try and cancel as many policies as I possibly can. Relax planning law, absolutely will do that. 
Okay. That's good. I still don't think that this is going to lead us to success. But you never know. Okay, food shortages. That's not exactly not exactly ideal. Crime is, is up because of food shortages. That's a bit of a pain in the backside. Health is down. Poverty is down, though. So that's, you know, a step in the right direction. Credit rating has been downgraded because our debt-to-GDP ratio has apparently changed. Has it changed? Still 63%. Like, that's still... Remarkable? Hmm. I mean, our debt has increased, but... Uh, okay. Right. Do we have the political capital to change the military now? I, I, no. No, we don't. No, we don't. How on earth am I going to get... How on earth am I going to get rid of all of this expenditure here? I can try my best. I can try my best, but boy, oh boy, oh boy, it's going to... It's going to be a challenge. 18 political capital to cancel the technology grants policy. Even though capitalists freaking love it. Oh, there's so much. There's so much to unpack here. Tourism ads. Road building. I mean, we can't even cancel road building. That's kind of that kind of irritates me is that we're always going to have to have like some form of some form of something. Cancel income tax? Do I just want to cancel income tax and then just, you know, screw it? Just try? You know what? Live dangerously. Live freaking dangerously. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. All taxes eliminated. That's right. You heard it here first, eh? Okay, health is, is continuing to, to decline. But that's okay. Because the pollution, the pollution will disappear as soon as our economy collapses. Which, you know probably gonna be quite soon I would imagine okay this is the great this is the great turn to to get rid of the military uh, we're gonna save ourselves a hundred billion or so there we're still gonna be you know in a, in a deficit situation I haven't even looked at the new policy ideas screen that's it's ridiculous frankly okay where else is our expenditure coming from military military spending eliminated debt interest can't eliminate that unfortunately technology grants I can eliminate but I need 18 political capital in order to do that so it's gonna be it's going to be next turn that we're going to be able to tackle that one. Uh, we also need to expand the... Oh, look at that. That's huge. Huge increase to unemployment. Huge increase to unemployment. Uh, we also need to expand our turn cap again, which I which I do want to do. Oh, look at that. A deficit of only $265 billion. I'm surprised that our GDP hasn't even come down from 100%. Like... Do people not see the issues that are just below the surface here? That's technology grants gone, by the way. Junk food tax. Uh, we'll try and get rid of junk food tax at some point. We'll try and get rid of every single tax. Every single policy out the window. Telecommuting initiative? No, these policies are actually quite good. Telecommuting initiative is, is fine. Okay, allow the database. Sure, we can we can upset liberals. I'm I'm okay with that. That that can just about be tolerated. Okay, what have we got? Contagious disease. Uh, yeah. Well, well, you see, the thing is, yeah. Mm, you see, the thi mm, the thing is, the pollution and poverty and everything. Not in a great place at the moment. The Food Standards Agency is doing a good job, but we're going to get rid of it soon, so, you know, don't even worry about it. A garbage scam? That's okay. Environmentalist and foreign relations, that's fine. Crime does go down thanks to our database uh, decision there. Wow! We did it! Capitalism is truth, capitalism is freedom, capitalism is love. One thing for sure, you certainly have given that invisible hand of the market a firm and friendly handshake, maybe with both hands. That's right. You're gosh darn right. That's exactly what I've done. Uh, but still, 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 we're spending too much money. Health tax credits, out the window. Go away. Road building? Uh, we can get rid of road building. We will get rid of road building, but we need 21 political capital to do it. Yeah, you know what? Let's not mess around with that too much yet. And then after that, we're just down to, like, little piddly policies. How am I still spending 300 billion? I suppose 100 of that billion is actually on dead interest. 
if I didn't have to contend with debt interest, boy oh boy oh boy, that would be that would be excellent. Charity tax relief, charity tax relief can go away, sure. Again, you know, there are there's no such thing as taxes, and therefore there's no such thing as charity tax relief. It's simple economics, folks. It's simple economics. But I, I don't know if we're actually going to be able to raise enough money. Major new donor. That's lovely. That's really, really good. But we are running a pretty massive deficit. Yeah, I mean, how are we going to cut... How are we going to cut another 210... How are we going to cut another 210 billion or whatever it is that we need to do? The, the problem is that there are so many policies, so many piddly little policies, which just, you know, 20 billion here and there, 21 political capital to make that change. It's a pretty big, it's a pretty big investment of political capital in order to do that, you know? Food stamps. Yeah, I mean, we can cancel food stamps. Food stamps cost hardly anything to implement, hardly anything to increase. But they cost, like, a ridiculous amount to get rid of. A, a, a ridiculous amount of political capital, that is. Good thing is that my cabinet freaking love me. They they freaking dig this hot new thing called capitalism, apparently, which is going very, very well for me. Very, very, very well for me. I just don't... I just don't... I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to be able to reduce... our debt. I mean, look, road building, we've just cut. So that's 23 billion saved, or roughly 23 billion. But we still have to have, you know, we still have to have a minimum amount of expenditure. And that's a billion right there. That's, you know, that's money. Uh, food stamps, we can cut them, but that's going to cost a whole bunch of political capital. Police force, we can cut the police force. But again, we still have to have some level of minimum spend here. And that's 2 billion. It's 2.5 billion, actually. Not to mention the fact that as I've already talked about, we don't have the option to introduce private security contractors, uh, which is a bit of a pain in the backside, to be honest. Space program, that's an easy cut. That's an easy cut because it doesn't really make that much of a difference. However, it does feed into the technological advantage that we've got going, which is which is nice because that is that is increasing our GDP and, uh, and our productivity. Productivity of which is doing very, very nicely, in fact. Very, very nicely indeed. Hmm. It's it's a mysterious one. It's a mysterious one, and I'm not entirely sure where we go. Okay, whistleblower, prosecute, doesn't actually matter. Patriots probably don't love me, given that I absolutely slashed the military. But, I mean, what can you do? Not very much. There's a budget deficit of $185 billion. $185 billion. That's 50 billion, 65 billion, 80 billion. I mean, the, the amount that we need to cut is just so much. Basically, the way to look at it, right, is that we are raising, is that we are raising in total from all of our taxes, excluding government borrowing at this moment in time, we are raising $104 billion. Our debt interest is 109. The... Perhaps awful thing to consider. I know this is going to make me a, a fake capitalist. Do I want to... I don't even know if I'm going to be able to introduce an income tax. Do I want to introduce an income tax? For now? A tax to raise, you know, some money? Capital gain? Do we just, you know, bump capital gains up to max? Give us 88 billion? I mean, <laughs> even that is not enough. Do I re implement the payroll tax? I think I re implement the payroll tax. Give me a full. Give me a full whammy payroll tax. Okay? Give me a full whammy payroll tax. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm a terrible capitalist. I'm a terrible capitalist. I'm. I'm not I'm not truly deserving of the achievement that I that I just that I just got. 
But at the end of the day, there is frankly zero way in heck that we are ever going to be able to get back our, our cash. Unless we take the difficult decision now. Well, this is an interesting one. Right. Massive flash crash. GDP is down by 30%. Unemployment absolutely rockets. Almost up to max. Yet our credit rating was upgraded. Lovely. Lovely stuff indeed. Okay. Contagious disease is level is leveling out, which is fine. That's okay. Uh, we got a massive budget surplus now, which is really, really good. Now, that's not, you know, that's not the end of us. That's not the end of us. We're not, we're not giving up on, we're not giving up on the free market quite yet. The sales tax that we've got in here, we can, we can get rid of that. In fact, to be honest, I think we can actually just about get rid of every other source of income with the exception of a payroll tax. I think. Yeah, our entire expenditure, our entire expenditure, by the way, is 279 billion. And the payroll tax brings in 411 you know, plus a little bit of debt interest there. You know, we still have over a hundred billion, a uh, hundred billion spare. So can we get rid of, can we get rid of everything here? Okay, get rid of the sales tax. Nice. Get rid of a property tax. Nice. Get rid of a petrol tax. Nice. Get rid of a junk food tax. Nice. And then that just leaves us with inheritance and airline tax to deal with. However, I think that I should spend the next two turns acquiring enough political capital in order to uh, in order to save up for an executive term limit increase. Okay, GDP doesn't bounce back as much as I would have liked it to. Yeah, the payroll tax is having quite a negative impact on GDP, as it turns out. Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? Crime, bit of an increase. Unemployment, back down. Eh, I think we'll be fine. Violent video games, leave unchanged. Don't care. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter even slightly. High productivity is a good win, actually. A good, good win to have at a time like this. Very, very fortunate that that ended up happening. Yeah, that's really, really good. So that flash crash was, was really, really great for us. We're probably going to see this stick around for a while, which is surprising, but also, that's okay. That is okay. Uh, we have zero members of our party, which is fine. Uh, I mean, my popularity is variable, to say the least. Very, very, very variable. I was going to spend the next two turns. Yeah, I was going to spend the next two turns increasing my, increasing my term limit, wasn't I? Okay, how are we doing in the intelligence briefing? Not bad. Nobody hates me. Like, what? That's what's kind of crazy is that if I'm just reducing. If I'm just reducing taxes, I guess nobody has an issue with that, right? <laughs> Apart from maybe socialists. I don't think anyone has an issue with me reducing taxes. Okay, unemployment has plummeted, which is great. Mostly because GDP is just continuing to recover. Health is up because pollution has ended. Crime is down because poverty is down, I think. Yeah, a little bit. That's, that's fine. Budget's still in good shape, which is grand. Another major new party donor, which is, which is wonderful. Uh, and this is just, this is just insanity this is just absolute insanity what's going on here right maxed out political capital 38 out of 38 which is fine executive term limit let's crank that up to four excellent we don't care about democracy or liberal opinion actually so that's completely fine my cabinet actually do approve of me which is great get rid of the airline tax and then that leaves us with one last tax criminalize child labor leave law unchanged No, leave law unchanged. Okay, it's wildly unpopular with absolutely everyone. Why do capitalists not like this? Why do capitalists not like child labor? I don't know. I don't know. Frankly, it's a scandal. It should be changed. It should be amended. All right. Well, you know what? Things were going apparently just a little bit too well. And uh, it looks like our economy has bounced back into a polluted nightmare hellscape. That's fine. Okay, GDP has actually fallen for the first time. And then, you know, this is a legitimate fall. This is a legitimate fall, and it feels... It feels permanent. It feels permanent. How is, uh, how is the global economy doing? I bet you the global economy is tanking right now. Yeah, the global economy is tanking. That's okay. That's okay. As long as we're able to maintain a surplus over the next wee while, then we will be completely, completely, completely fine. Uh, let's trash the inheritance tax policy. That leaves us with just one absolutely massive tax policy. Weirdly, the payroll tax. Don't entirely know why, you know, this is a thing. If I cut... 
If I cut, like, yeah, if I cut 50 billion off the payroll tax, then it basically halves our GDP impact. You can actually see on the graph here, this is why, uh, why graphs being implemented is are super, super good. So up to about, I don't know, 50%, the impact to GDP is basically negligible. So from 50% downwards, it's negligible, but then from like 50% upwards, it just scales, uh, you know, a fairly, a fairly large amount. So what I think we might do, let's take it right the way back down to here. Because we're going to continue to cut policies. We're going to continue to cut policies, and that's going to continue to make a difference. I just want to make sure that we're, you know, deriving as much benefit from GDP as we possibly can, especially whilst the economy is, uh, is tanking. Oh boy. Yeah, the economy is is really tanking at the moment. Has has the bottom finally fallen off this thing? <laughs> My popularity has decreased again. I, I, I don't understand why, but it keeps on happening. Keeps on flipping happening. Membership of the capitalist group is... It's not bad. Uh, it could be doing a little bit better. Ethnic minorities, 98% of the population. Fine. Everyone, everyone is kind of okay with me, apart from the fact that internet crime exists. But that's okay, you know, we're, we're getting on top of that. We're getting on top of that by demolishing our technology. Uh, intellectual property? Why are capitalists happy with intellectual property? Why should they like intellectual property? But it's not a free market. It's not a... How can you have a free market? How can you have a free-for-all? If you've got intellectual property rights. That's a scandal. This is not allowed. Get out of here. Get out of my face. Okay. Now that, that is one policy that is going to tank our economy. Uh, I think it's actually severely underrated how much that brand new policy as a base is implemented. Uh, and it, it sustains like a lot of, a lot of good stuff actually. Uh, technology, foreign investment, very, very important intellectual property rights, at least in this game anyway. And, uh, yeah, now that we don't have them, watch our economy completely collapse. What? Just watch it. Just watch it. Okay, space program. Sure. Six political capital. Tone it down a little bit. Uh, okay, so every single tax policy is gone. We're almost, we've almost, uh, ridden ourselves of every... Uh, welfare policy, we can get on top of that at some point too. Okay, GDP, nice little increase there, which is which is good. Uncompetitive economy is going to develop. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Are you actually seriously kidding me? Minimum wage. Oh yes, this has gone on for far too long. We can't allow this to happen. We can't allow... We cannot allow the minimum wage to exist. Cancel the minimum wage. Get out of here. Okay, we're still running a surplus, which is great. We're still paying off our debt, even though it is only a little bit each and every turn. Right, technology is going to collapse completely. Private space industry is going to disappear. Mark my words. Technology is going to come down flipping fast. Not to mention the fact that we, you know, almost managed to cancel NASA. And this turn, we are going to cancel NASA. Thank you, NASA. If if companies want to go to space, they can do it out of their own pocket. Government ain't paying for it. No siree. Not even, not even one bit. The government is so determined to not be in your life that we are going to just absolve ourselves of any responsibility. It is a land of chaos and confusion, but that's just the way that I like it. Okay. Ban foreign firm from IT infrastructure. Allow usage of foreign firm. Yeah, of course. It's a free-for-all. Why would I, why would I not agree with that? That sounds completely reasonable to me. Okay. Uh, voting intentions. Things are looking good. How many turns away are we from the election? We're four turns away from the election. That's good. Okay. High productivity and the technological advantage have both ended on the same turn. Didn't think that, didn't think that technology would collapse that fast, uh, but apparently it did. So there we go. Poverty is up. Crime is down. Unemployment is up and GDP is down. It's a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. Equality doesn't exist because we don't have any tax policies. We don't have any tax policies and we have... 
only private, only private healthcare, housing, pension, schools, etc. Oh boy. Food stamps? Yeah, I hate to, hate to break it to you, but I mean, yeah, we're getting rid of food stamps. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, the rare earth crisis will end at some point. Is pollution gonna end? If our economy collapses, will pollution end? We can only hope. What else? Uh, the water shortage still exists. Water shortage might end, actually. Plant-based diets? Nope, looks like everyone has, has gone back to eating meat, which is okay, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. <sighs> yeah, I mean, look, this is kind of the disaster zone that I was expecting. Uh, GDP? Way down. Way down. The global economy is is in a very, very poor state as well. And that is almost certainly going to lead to a decrease in our in our credit rating, which is not good. The election report is telling me that things are looking dicey. We have satisfied our... We have satisfied our conditions here. Okay. Appease capitalists. How many liberals are there? What groups do I need to appease? Everyone hates internet crime. Internet crime might end before the election. Internet crime might end before the election. Is there anything that I can do about this? If I just, like, I don't know. Face recognition system? It's gonna take four turns for that to come online. Uh, I don't think that there's anything that I can really do. Witness protection program, violent crime. Is violent crime high? No, violent crime still doesn't exist, which is just hot garbage or whatever, but there you go. Uh, free market. Look, I could reduce, change up the alcohol law. I don't really want to. Body cameras. Body cameras don't make a gosh darn difference to crime, irritatingly. Rubber bullets don't make a gosh darn impact on crime. Gated communities? Gated communities do have an impact on crime, although it is very, very small. It is immediate, though. It is an immediate turn. Well. Technically, it's not. It's 12 turns to implement, but whatever. Speed cameras? That, that ain't gonna make a gosh darn difference. Jury trial? That ain't gonna make a gosh darn difference to crime. Death penalty doesn't make a difference to crime. Makes a difference to violent crime, and violent crime doesn't exist. Judicial separation or judicial independence. Who gives a hoot about that? State-of-the-art prisons. Overcrowded cells. Wait, are you telling me that I've got a prison regime and I get to make decisions about prisons? I, uh... I had no idea. I had no idea. I guess we just hope... Oh, actually, let's do this. Let's do prisoner tagging. Prisoner tagging, sure. And it also costs us, like, next to nothing, which is just about excellent. Which is just about excellent. Okay. My executive term limit is four, which is grand. Threat assessment is is poor. Um, This could be the end of us. This could be the absolute end of us. Can I cancel the state postal service? Yes. Yes, I can, and I will get rid of that. We're running a surplus. It's a very, very pared down surplus. Debt protection law allow agencies to operate. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everyone who's a capitalist, you're safe with me. You're safe with me. We... Oh, oh no. Okay. Just before an election, a massive outbreak of a contagious disease. It's probably not exactly what we're looking for. GDP continues to fall. Health is just, just gone. Crime is actually up. Unemployment is high. Poverty is very high. Uncompetitive economy is going to become a thing next time, which is insane. Absolutely insane. Productivity has jumped off cliff. That's that's not good. And our popularity is, uh, is plummeting. Even though capitalists, who represent 83% of the population, they love me. They absolutely love me. The problem is, is that everyone dislikes me because the contagious disease... The contagious disease is a big, 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 big fat negative. Look at that. 
two turns, increase to two million members. I don't have a single member. I don't have a single... I'm, I'm the flipping party of government, Orbital Potato Corp Limited. And not a single... Not a single person... Not a single person is a member of my party. I can't make pledges on any of these things. Foreign aid received. Do we receive foreign aid? Yeah, we do actually receive foreign aid. That's hilarious. Okay. Uh, w what's our income, actually, from foreign aid? <laughs> we make money from payroll tax, congestion charging, and speed cameras. <laughs> Those are our three sources of income. Debt interest is by far and away the largest expenditure. Wait, where's our foreign aid received? Where's our foreign... Do we not... Foreign investment. Foreign aid received. Yeah. It just increases all of this stuff. Okay. It doesn't actually give us money. Which is a bit of a pain in the backside. Because I would prefer... Well, actually, no. I wouldn't really prefer money. I'd actually... If, I'd prefer if, uh, if other countries directly invested in the education of my people. That would be brilliant. That would be really, really exceptional. Anyway, let's do a couple of speeches. Hope that we can swing the... The tide of hatred that is swimming towards us. So, who do we want to influence? Capitalists, environmentalists, ethnic minorities, liberals. Cool. Oh, I hate that. Okay. That's better. Okay. Capitalists. We want three pips. We want three pips. Okay. Conservatives don't care about that. Liberals we care about. Retired. Eh, self-employed, trade unionist, no. Wealthy, don't care about. Poor, no. Commuter, ethnic minorities, yes, and commuters. Okay, let's do that. I think that's, I think that's excellent. Okay. Come on. Come on. Nice. Commuters flipping love me. That's right. Okay. Capitalist opinion. Okay. Opinion, opinion of me has changed rather dramatically. I don't think it's enough to, to save me from death. It's not actually entirely true. How much political capital do I have? I have six political capital. I can change one thing here. Compassionate or strong leader? Give me compassion. 66%. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good increase, actually. It's a good increase there. That might be enough to keep me in. That might be enough to keep me in this. Um, I doubt it, though. I doubt it. Unless our popularity somehow rebounds like it did last time. I very, very much doubt that this is going to be... This is going to be a successful election. You never know, though. You never know. Okay. Opposition activist turnout boost 1.3%. Campaign spending. Okay. It's, it's going to be... It's going to be a crushing defeat. It's going to be an absolutely crushing defeat. It's going to be an absolutely crushing defeat. How many capitalists voted for me? Are you are you telling me? Are you telling me that more capitalists voted for... There was one tax. You had to pay one single tax. One single tax. And that's it. And you still didn't like... Like, this is... I did this for you. One tax. One flippin' tax. And the capitalists voted me out. That is unfreaking believable. Turnout of 36%. You're you're telling me that only 36% of capitalists bothered to vote. I am actively irritated at the capitalists. Well, you know what? That represents my my ambition, my mission. To turn, to turn the United States into a uh, into a company, it failed. I was voted out. I don't think I should have been. Uh, I think that there was a lot of wacky stuff up with that playthrough, especially my popularity. Like that was really, really strange. That that's you know that election that we had over the course of uh, in the middle of this episode it was very, very whack, very, very weird, super duper duper strange. I imagine that this was the one. Yeah, this was the one that I just played, I believe. 
Oh, there you go. Apparently, 100% capitalist. There you go. We did, we did what we could do. We tried our very best, but unfortunately, uh... Unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. But there you go, folks. Thank you very, very much for watching. Thanks, as ever, to the fantastic supporters over on the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Robert Potato, if indeed you're interested in helping out uh, make videos like this possible. Thanks, as ever, to Banana Nanana and C Senpai for being the two $25 plus tier patrons. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time for some more Democracy 4.